Hey guys, and welcome to today's live stream. And today I want to talk about the MinoxD long-term effectiveness. And for you who don't know me, my name is Alex, and I've been suffering hair loss for uh, like since I was 18 years old, and I was able to recover from it and get full set of hair like I have now. And if you wonder, uh, my age now is 36 years, and you can check also my pictures below this video. Uh, in any case, I want to talk about uh, long-term effectiveness of MinoxD in this video. And there are like a, a lot of uh, misconception that uh, minoxidil stops working, right? That one can use it for a few years or even a few, few months and then it stops working. But it's not the case, right? Because minoxidil uh, itself is just a growth stimulator. So if you do have some underlying conditions that cause hair falling out, minoxidil won't work, right? It is like if you start with minoxidil and you get some results for six months, one year, two years, and then here kind of reverse it and uh, hair loss starts to progress again. It basically means there is something else that is causing it, right? Because minoxidil doesn't stop working. You need to look other, into other factors like uh, maybe your diet, maybe inflammation, allergies, DHT or uh, lifestyle, right? Those things or even stress, those things can also cause hair loss and make your hair fall out and uh, make things uh, like make it uh, less effective for minoxidil. Because minoxidil itself, as growth stimulator, it always works, right? And every time I had an issue with my hair loss over the years I have been dealing with this problem, is that there is something else that was causing it. Either was, there was some deficiencies or there was some something else that was going on in my scalp that should not be going on, like scalp inflammation or something else. But minoxidil itself, it was always working and it is still working for me. I still have a values here that I can get uh, and get uh, more hair growth if I want to, right? Because I, I don't use minoxidil as often as I did in the past. And uh, there are several reasons for it, why I don't use it that much anymore. But one of them is that basically I have experience that I can overstimulate my scalp, I use too much of it. And also minoxidil can have some drying effect and so on, right? So it's for me after uh, using it for uh, seven years, uh, on daily basis, uh, I would say that it is uh, good to t have a break from it from time to time as well. Because you don't want to have a, like being a modus of stimulating, continuously stimulating your scalp, right? But in any case, my point with the video is that uh, minoxidil do work and it do work long term and it is just a growth stimulator. So if you do have some other online issues that is going on in your scalp, then of course minoxidil will stop uh, or become less effective and it won't be as good long-term solution because you need to address everything that is going on and can cause hair loss to get awesome results and keep those results long-term. And for you guys who need help with this problem and you haven't been able to solve it completely yourself, and even if you have got some results, maybe by help from someone who knows what is happening, you can even get even better results, right? Because my results are awesome. And guys, my program has also awesome results. So it is possible to get outstanding results uh, with the right uh, plan, with the right treatment, uh, with the right structure. So if you want to know more, schedule a call below the video. Let's talk and see how my six months program can help you regrow your hair. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.